Here is, part 3, a most important interview questions along with answers that will thoroughly assess a candidate's knowledge of Amazon Web Services AWS. 14. What is the key difference between EM policies and resource-based policies in AWS? Answer. EM policies are attached to EM users, groups, or roles, and define what actions they can perform on AWS resources. Resource-based policies are attached to resources like S3 buckets or Lambda functions, and specify who can access those resources and what actions they can perform. 15. Explain the use case and benefits of Amazon VPC peering. Answer. VPC peering allows the connection of two VPCs, enabling them to communicate with each other as if they were in the same network. This is useful for scenarios where you want to share resources or data between VPCs while keeping them isolated. Benefits include securing, resource sharing, and network segmentation. 16. What is AWS CloudTrail and how does it enhance security and compliance? Answer. AWS CloudTrail is a service that records AWS API calls made on your account. It enhances security by providing an audit trail of activities. It helps with compliance by enabling you to track changes and investigate security incidents in your AWS environment. 17. How can you ensure high availability of an RDS database in AWS? Answer. To achieve high availability for an RDS database, you can use multi-AS deployments, which replicate the database across multiple availability zones, providing failover support. Additionally, you can enable automated backups and set up read replicas to distribute read traffic. 18. What are AWS Lambda layers, and why are they useful? Answer, AWS Lambda layers allow you to manage your function's code and resources separately. You can include libraries, custom runtimes, or other function dependencies in a layer, making it easier to manage and update common code across multiple functions. 19. Explain the concept of AWS Identity Federation and how it works. Answer. AWS Identity Federation enables users from an external identity provider, for example, Active Directory, SAML-based, to access AWS resources without the need for AWS EM users. It establishes a trust relationship between your identity provider and AWS and allows role-based access to AWS resources. 20. How can you optimize costs for AWS resources in a production environment? Answer. To optimize costs, you can implement strategies like using reserved instances, leveraging spot instances for non-critical workloads, setting up auto-scaling, and regularly reviewing and optimizing your resource usage. AWS Cost Explorer and AWS Trusted Advisor can assist in cost management efforts. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a lot of valuable interview questions and answers of various technologies that will be useful during interviews.